When most of us think of winemaking, we think of the obvious things like crushing the grapes, the harvest, all of that good fun stuff. But that, that's when the hard work starts, because from that point, you've got to bring the grapes in, they've got to be treated, they've got to be crushed, they've got to be bottled, and then distributed. Here at St. Joseph's in Oregon, these guys make and produce biodynamic wine. Never heard of it. So I'm going to find Joe, the owner, and find out what that means. What makes you biodynamic on the wine production here? Well, wine production is uh, we, the way we are raising the grapes, cultivating it, because we don't use any uh, fertilizer, insecticide or, or uh, pesticides. For mildew production, we use sulfur. So the sulfur cures the mildew problem. Yes. But you've got to stop putting that down way yeah. in advance of the harvest, right? Yes. Now, at this point in the year, you, the grapes are in, the wine's crushed, it's all ready, it's being bottled, it's all around us. What do you do for the rest of the year? Well, actually, uh, what we do the rest of the year is uh, just rack the wines, and, uh, and actually, we have to play with it. You have just, to play with it? Yeah, just like women. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, because it, it, it's a finicky, finicky uh, uh, product. You, you, you always have to tend to it. You have uh, on the barrels, on, on Pinot Noirs, or uh, any, any barrel staged wine, it has to be topped off because air gets, there's evaporation, and af uh, air gets in there, and that's, it's murder for wine. Well, there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is, if you're watching this from the UK, the weather in Oregon is identical, beautiful. Nine months of the year, this is what we endure. The good news is, this behind me is a green vineyard. 